Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day six of the yoga challenge. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and I am so, so, so happy that you guys made it to day six. Like, wow, we literally have one day now, like it's tomorrow. So let's go ahead and knock this one out, but not knock it out too quickly because we wanna definitely take it in and enjoy it. So let's go ahead and meet in a child's pose. So coming to your mat, you know the drill. Big toes to touch, knees wide to the mat, sinking the hips back, extending the fingertips long out in front of you. Bringing your forehead in contact with the mat. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Always bringing it back to the breath. Deep breath in. Fill up the belly. Open mouth, exhale. One more deep breath in through the nose. And open mouth, exhale. Awesome. If you had an intention that you brought to class, I invite you to actually go ahead and bring it to the forefront of your mind right here. And this may be, again, a mantra, a personal goal. If you're drawing, an in, drawing a blank, I invite you to share my intention of acknowledgement. Acknowledging that you are exactly where you need to be. Acknowledging that you have more than enough of what you need. You are very capable. And you are awesome exactly as you are in your own person. Whatever your in intention or mantra was, I invite you to take a deep breath in through the nose. And open mouth, exhale. Sigh it out. Perfect. Gently rock up to your knees. And from here, just slowly walk your knees in a bit so that your knees are right under your hips. And gently walk your fingertips out, bringing your chest closer to the mat. And just breathe here in puppy pose. And gently press up and begin to walk back to sitting on your heels. Kicking your feet out in front of you, come to an easy seat. And inhale, sweep your arms up high. And exhale, take your right hand, gently draw your head over to the right taking your left hand bring it behind your back now don't pull on your neck but just gently motion for it to go over to the right and feel this stretch and breathe here and bring it back to center and unwind. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. And exhale, left hand towards the right part of your head. Right hand behind your back. And gently guide your head over to the left. And then bring your head back up in the center. Inhale, sweep the arms up high. And exhale, eagle arms. Cross your right elbow over your left. Intertwine your hands. Again, if this is too intense for your shoulders, just find yourself a bear hug right here. But if you do take full eagle, lift your elbows up and breathe here.
and slowly unwind. Inhale, arms back up to Siddha Tadasana. And exhale, drop the right elbow down, left elbow over the right, intertwine the hands. Again, bear option, bear hug option is here. You can intertwine your hands if you took the full eagle and lift the elbows up to shoulder height. And breathe here. And slowly unwind. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, twist to the right, left hand on the outer right knee, gazing over the right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, dropping the right hand down on the outer left knee, gazing over the left shoulder. And back to center. You can just kind of roll your shoulders out. Any organic movements. And then taking your hands on your shoulders, begin to make nice big circles with your elbows. And then see if you can bring your elbows together to touch in the middle. And then taking it the other way. Perfect. Alrighty. Now leaving your left leg on the mat slightly at an angle, you're going to take your right leg and place using your left hand, you're going to put your left hand on the outer part of your right foot and then bring your right arm underneath your um, right leg and begin to pull your, um, your right leg in towards the chest and breathe here. You can flex the toes or just relax them. And don't forget to breathe. Slowly release it down and bringing your right leg to the mat this time. Take your right hand on the outer part of your right foot, left arm underneath, and then draw your leg in towards you. Sometimes it takes some finessing to find that sweet spot. There you go. And breathe here. And slowly release it down. Moving into fire lock. Um, as you already are, you can just leave your <clears throat> left leg on top. Stack your left ankle on top of your right knee. And wiggle your right foot out so that your left knee is stacked right on top of your right ankle. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, slowly fold over. You can place your hands down in front of you or you can come down to your forearms if you feel comfortable with that. And drop the head down. And slowly press back up and switch legs. So you can place the right ankle on top of the left knee, wiggle the left foot out so that your right knee is stacked right above the right, the left ankle. 
Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, walk your hands forward. And breathe here. If you find yourself clenching your teeth here, go ahead and add a little space in between your teeth and relax your jaw. And begin to press back up. And bringing both feet to the mat. You can lower yourself down onto your back. And then you can bring your feet up towards your middle fingers so that your heels are grazing the tips of your middle fingers. And then stamp one foot up. And on an inhale, you're going to send your hips up straight to the ceiling. Ground down through that left heel. Drive your right heel up to the ceiling for five, four, three, two, and one. You can lower it down. Right. And then getting ready for the left foot. You can extend your left foot up and on an inhale. And then exhale, press your hips up drive through that right heel sending your left heel up closer to the ceiling for five four three two and one place it down perfect and then getting ready with both feet stamped on the floor take a deep breath in and exhale lift your hips up drive through both heels, sending your chest toward your chin, chin away from your chest. Breathe here. One more deep breath in. And exhale, lower it down. Perfect, you can stamp your feet on the ceiling, moving into happy baby, and take your hands on the outer edges of your feet. And you can gently rock side to side while you draw your knees in towards your side body. And then maybe you extend your right leg out long and then extend the other. And then bring both knees in together tight. Bring your nose to your knees. One last sip of air. And exhale, final Shavasana. Rest all the way out on your mat. No clenching of the teeth, leaving a space in between your teeth to relax your jaw. Palms facing up rolling your shoulder blades down your back finding your breath here If you have more time in Shavasana, I highly encourage you to stay here as long as you feel comfortable. But if you do need to move on with your day, you can begin to wiggle your fingertips and your toes, maybe making a fist and then releasing it. And then extend the arms overhead in a nice long body stretch. and roll over on either side into fetal pose. Using your bicep as a pillow. 
and take a few moments here. And just really acknowledge all that you did on your mat today. And when you're ready, you can press up to a seated position with your eyes closed. And bringing your palms together to touch. You can bring them to your forehead to remind yourself of positive thoughts. Everything begins with a thought. And bringing them to your lips to remind yourself of kind words. Not only to yourself, but to others as well. And then to your heart to remind yourself that you have a purpose and an intention. There are no mistakes. You were created with an intention and reason. You can take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Flood your eyes open. God bless friends. Namaste. Congratulations. We are on day six. You have one more day. I hope this was a nice relaxing practice. I know sometimes on the weekends it's nice to just kind of take it a little easy. So um, today and tomorrow I'll try and kind of keep us nice and grounded on the mat. If you um, enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to, just, to subscribe. And um, if you have any comments or feedback or questions ever, feel free to leave it down in the comment box below. I will see you in my next video. Bye.